everybody with type one. This is Dr. Jody, and today I'm going to talk about a very important thing that I want you to make sure that you do today. All right. Okay. Before I jump into that, so be sure to watch the end of today's video to know what I'm talking about. I just want to say I'm so glad you found me. I been coming live on Facebook since our COVID world began back in March. I've done over 150 Facebook lives since then. Uh, my intention is to be a source of light and inspiration and education for all of us living with type one. I have lived with type one for 40 years. Where's my decks? I don't know. Normally I like to show my decks, but uh, you know, <laughs> sometimes our decks disappears. So I don't know. It's, it's somewhere, but yes, I've had type one for 40 years. So I walk in your shoes every day. I have committed my career to helping type ones. I work with patients like you all over the world through virtual zoom calls and I have online courses and I am so I'm almost, I just feel very emotional today. Today is December 30th. We've all been in this crazy year together and so many thousands of you have found me since I started doing Facebook lives. And I, I feel so grateful that we as type ones have the internet so we can be connected and that I can help you. Um, I've had so many people come to me and uh, with gratitude for lowering their A1Cs, right? Because I get it. Living with type one is challenging. And my question that I posed today in the title is, have you given yourself, have you honored yourself today for how hard you work for being type one? Um, I wanted to make this Facebook Live on Monday, but I didn't have access to Facebook Live. So I just put a post out and now I'm giving the video I wanted to talk to you about today. I'm sorry, I'm skipping over my words, but the point is we all get to honor ourselves no matter what your A1C is for how hard we work because living with type one is a full-time job and no matter how many people around you love you, if they're not dealing with type one, they are loving you but can't really fully understand what you're doing, right? It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And we can't expect perfection because I am the quote type one expert and I have numbers that go high and low. I have lows and highs, right? But what I am here to do is to give you education and give you support that you can get better numbers. But a key thing I always want to remind you, and I remind all of my private patients, is like we need to be kind to ourselves because this is not an exact science. Type one is not eat this many carbs, give this many units, and you'll be fine, right? It's much more complicated than that. It's what I teach in my courses. And um, it, I'm just feeling really, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time speaking today because it's the end of the year. It's the end of a really challenging year. It's the end of a very beautiful year in the sense that uh, people have come together, more community, more connection, um, maybe slowed down a little bit, but people have also struggled. And so in the midst of all this craziness, I just wanted to give the message today of like, really be kind to yourself, really honor yourself for how hard you work. Um, type one is a full-time job and we have to take care of our blood sugar level 24 hours a day, right? It doesn't turn off when we go to sleep, we still have to manage it. So I, I just want to, um, I don't know how you can honor yourself today. Maybe you can just go take a nap. Maybe you can call another type one friend if you have another type one friend and just tell your friend how much you appreciate them and maybe they'll tell you that back. And, you know, we need to take a pause right at the end of this crazy year and honor how hard we've worked and honor that it's not, we, we can't live on autopilot with type one. It takes a lot of, you know, Every day I say we navigate diabetes, we don't control it. Control, it sounds like there's a specific number that we should always be able to, you know, just spit in the formula, the insulin to carb ratio formula, or use the pump wizard and then create some perfect answer. And I really don't like to use the word control because I like to think of it as a navigation. We navigate diabetes. Like think of it as, as like we're, we're a sailor and we're on a sailboat and you have to navigate the waters. Sometimes they're windy, sometimes it's flat, sometimes it's from the north, sometimes it's from the south. Well, sometimes your sugar level's going up, sometimes your sugar level's going down, sometimes you're exercising, sometimes you're not, sometimes you get sick, right? Sometimes your hormones are throwing your numbers off. We're navigating this. It's not as simple as most people have been taught. So many people come to me and they say, oh my gosh, I'm failing. I'm burnt out. I can't do it. 
And that's because if you only receive this much training, but you actually need this much training, you're always going to feel like you're failing. So wherever you're at in your diabetes journey, I just really want you to honor yourself. Um, and if you feel like you need better education, please check out my website. Please uh, send me an email. You can scroll to the bottom, click on contact. Um, we can set up a private call, find out if you want to work together. Take action. If you're struggling, call your healthcare team or reach out to me or watch one of my courses, right? We need to start with being compassionate with ourselves. But then if you want to be in a better spot, then you need to take action, right? I always have, when I work with patients, I always want us to start from a compassionate place. So many people are like, I suck at this. I can't get it right. I keep failing. No, I don't, I don't want anybody to put, don't put yourself down, right? you you're on the journey you're on, you've received the education you've received. So let's start with where we're at. Let's accept the journey. Maybe you didn't get all the education you needed, which is likely the case, but now you found me or now you found another group or now you found a book, something like that, right? We can start with self-compassion for the challenge and then take a positive empowered step to learn more. So I will be launching my membership program in the next two weeks. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, please check out my website. All you have to do to find my website is Google Dr. Jody Diabetes. Uh, my website is also just right there in the thread, um, or I'll add it there in a minute. And I have courses there. I have how to get off the blood sugar roller coaster, uh, mealtime dosing, why carb counting doesn't work, how to avoid burnout and stay positive, um, master your blood sugar with exercise. These are all key topics we deserve to know and I'm excited to teach you. So we have, oh, Kelsey's watching. Hi, Kelsey. Kelsey sends some hearts. Um, Karen, hi from England. Thank you for all the inspiration, Dr. Jody. You are welcome. I'm so glad you found me. Rebecca says hormones suck. Yes, they make blood sugar even more challenging. My 14-year-old my son, Callum, is watching. He is amazing. Hi, Callum. Thanks for watching. Yes, I got diabetes when I was seven, so I remember being 14 with type one. <laughs> I do believe that it can make us stronger and healthier. I think I'm healthier than most of my friends, to be honest. And I am so committed to finding as many of you as I can. I hope you follow me. Um, if you go to my website and you sign up for you know, my free gift or my free videos, anything like that, anywhere you wanna put your email, then you'll definitely get notified of my membership program which is gonna be our own little bubble off Facebook to stay educated and inspired. And I've been doing, I'm gonna be transferring my Facebook Lives and doing live videos in there um, with live Q and A's. And we're gonna create more of a community that's more connected than just Facebook. So stay tuned for that. Check out my website, um, just Google Dr. Jody Diabetes and you'll see my YouTube channel and, and everything. But I am so glad you found me, and I'm really passionate about helping us, helping us not struggle. I mean, I struggled for, gosh, so many years, feeling alone and feeling like I didn't know what I was doing, and maybe you're feeling that way too. So I'm here to try to make a difference and where we all can feel educated and inspired and have healthy A1Cs below 6.5, okay? That's, that's my goal for you. And so if you want to be part of that journey, if you want to be empowered, if you want to be educated and have a healthy A1C and have your diabetes feel a little bit easier, I do hope that you will um, continue to follow me and perhaps be in our membership program. So thanks for watching. I uh, normally come live Mondays and Wednesdays near 3 o'clock Pacific and 6 o'clock Eastern. Like I said, Monday I had internet problems, so I couldn't do a live. And today I had a, a call go late. So I'm later today, but I'm so glad you found me. Go ahead and um, leave a comment, even if you're watching the recording. I always love hearing from people. Oh, Lori. Hi, Ella. Lori's daughter, Ella, is watching. Uh, so great to see you guys. And hi from Australia. Thank you, Rob. Rob says my talk is inspiring. Chris says, is inhaled insulin a good option? Um it's good for maybe if you want to indulge and have high carb or get a high down, but it's not good for daily dosing. Um, it's not precise enough. Um, I think our meals really demand a lot of precision and dosing, and the inhaled insulin isn't really precise. You're just kind of, um, it says they're four and eight unit cartridges, but they don't really act like four and eight units. They act less than that. But I have many patients that use it just to 
get a bunch of insulin in the system quickly if they want an indulgence or to bring a high down. So that's my two cents on inhaled insulin. But thanks for the question, Chris. That's what I'm here for, you guys. You can answer, you can ask questions, and I'll be doing a whole hour long, probably live Q and A um, every week in the membership program. So it'll be a great place for all of us to to learn from each other. All right. So Rebecca says, Happy New Year. See you next year. That's right. Perfect closing comment. Susan says, every day is different. Yes, that's why we're navigating diabetes and not controlling it. When we think we can control it, we often feel like we're failing. And when we feel like we are navigating it, it's just like a sailboat ride. Everything's a little different. We got to keep track of the wind. We've got to make adjustments. Every day is not the same. So, all right, everybody. So glad that you found me. I think I've got a little bit more succinct in my words. Thanks for watching to the end. At the beginning, I was just kind of tripping over my words. So I'm impressed that you're still watching. And I'll be back on Monday. Uh, Rachel says, hey, so inspiring. Happy New Year. Thanks, Rachel. Okay, have a great New Year's. And hopefully it's small and beautiful um, and safe. And I will see you on Monday. Bye for now.